Hi guys, welcome to HowMachineWorks.com. Today, let's troubleshoot some brake problems. We have listed about 12 brake issues and solutions for them. Watch the entire video and learn it because it is very important as a driver to learn and understand. Okay, now let's go towards the first problem. That's the brake pedal too low down to stop. If you are pressing on the brake pedal and you need to get low down to get a brake effect, there is some failures. So let's go towards it. Low brake fluid level is causing that. If there is less amount of brake fluid in the circuit, that can happen. The reasons for that may be oil leak or if you have changed the oil for a longer time and the oil level has gone down, this can happen. The second one is air in brake fluid. How air gets into the brake fluid? Uh, if there is enough amount of moisture, the moisture gets into the circuit and what happens is that when the brake circuit becomes hot, this moisture evaporates and it becomes water vapor and that is air. So it becomes a pneumatic system and when you press the brake pedal, air compresses. But the fluid, which is a liquid inside, now compresses. So if there is a presence of air, it compresses and as a result, the brake pedal need to go low down to create a brake effect. And other reasons are one brake pads and also bad brake power boost unit. There are brake power boost unit to ease the brake because normally the braking effort is much higher but the power boost eases the job for the driver by boosting the pressure. So less amount of pressure can be given to create a brake. But if this unit, the power boost unit goes into failure, you need to press low down to get a brake effect. A second brake failure is too firm. The brake is too firm. You need to give more effort to create a brake. That is a brake boost failure. If there is a block in the brake oil circuit, if the oil is not allowed to flow continuously, a firm braking can happen. Third one is the soft braking effect or a spongy braking effect. Uh, the reason for that is a low brake fluid level. Okay, if as I told if there is a leak or there is a less oil level in the circuit, and the soft braking or spongy braking can happen and also the air in fluid happens in the same way when the moisture enters into the circuit and when it gets hot it evaporates and the water vapor presence that is actually the air you can bleed the system and get the air out of the system so that this problem can be rectified and the third reason for soft braking is uneven wear on the brake pads now let's go towards the fourth one that is the grabbing brakes it's normally due to worn brake pads and brake disc failures it looks like when you put a brake uh, the brake still holds on to it it doesn't release easily and you feel like you have taken off the brake pedal still the brake effect is slowly getting released that is brake grabbing fifth one is the pulling brake failure the pulling brake failure like when you're braking we feel like the vehicle is going or steering towards one direction it's also because of the failure of the worn brake pads or the disc brake failure uh, that happens one of the brake will be in effect while the other one is fully released so what happens that particular brake will hold the one single tire and will result in the vehicle to move in a single direction it pulls to a single direction that happens because of disc brake failures and one brake pass let's go towards the sixth one pedal vibration the brake pedal gets vibrating there are some reasons for brake pedal vibration like brake pad failures the second one is brake disc failures the third one is alignment problem the car alignment if it is lost this pedal vibration can happen so you need to align the car for that and the front suspension failures if the front suspension components get failed that also can result in the uh, pedal vibration so let's go towards the seventh one which is uh, the dragging brakes the dragging brakes are caused because of wheel cylinder failures or parking brake failures if the parking brake we engage it and when we release it and start the vehicle the parking brake doesn't disengage very fastly it create some time or it creates a lag to release slowly slowly at that point of time we feel like the vehicle is grabbed because we have already released the parking brake but in reality the parking brake hold towards the vehicle and will not allow it to go fast because the brake effect is still there so that is called dragging brakes the eighth one is squealing brakes a squealing brake sound or a high frequency sound comes out of the vehicle when you apply the brake that is because of the brake pad gets worn out or the brake pad is vibrating which gives you this particular sound so it need to be checked the ninth one is clucking sound brakes there's a clucking sound is happening from the side like cluck cluck it's because of some loose nut or balls in the system or the suspension is worn or broken this clucking sound happens normally something is not fixed properly which need to be uh, tightened up the tenth failure is steering wheel shake the steering wheel shakes up because of some brake failures it can be like the disc brake system if the vehicle is having a disc brake system it can happen the front brake needs machining or it need to be replaced 
place to avoid the steering brake shake. The 11th one or which is one of the most severe craze of brake failure is the grinding brakes. When you uh, step on the brake pedal you feel like a grinding sound or a grinding effect on the brake pedal. You can feel it because of metal to metal contact. It can happen due to excessive wear out of brake lining. What's happening is that the metal parts of the brake pads and the brake shoes comes in contact with the brake disc or the drum. So if there is a grinding effect, it can really damage the most expensive parts of the brake unit itself. So this is very critical if you hear a grinding sound, stop the vehicle, put it towards the side, call a mechanic and attend it or it will cost you much more than normal because the brake unit will completely get failed because of this metal to metal contact. It can clearly damage the disc and the drums. And the last one is when you apply a brake, the vehicle is bouncing up and down. So that's nearly a failure of uh, the shock absorber, not the brake problem. So you need to attend the shock absorber, say that it is clear or is there is a failure which needs to be attended. So now we have explained all the 12 brake failures. Now you can understand if there is any of such failures are happening to your vehicle or you can actually troubleshoot the reason for that. So brakes are very important and critical part of the vehicle. Never leave it if you feel any of such failure is happening to your vehicle. Thanks for watching this video. Please click the subscribe button for getting updates. Please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate that team. Please see the description below this video because we have given a lot of information down there which would definitely help you out. Have a look at our new YouTube channel how to draw and motivate us. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.